up, love? How you doing? How was your week? Know you been stressed lately. I'm here whenever you wanna speak. Tough day at work, let's get it on, my little freak. It all started with an innocent kiss right on the cheek. Then, uh, may I take you out? And let's just paint the town red. Good morning, welcome back to a new vlog. I have got some friends coming over today, so I decided to start the morning by making these little snacks. And they're so easy, but I thought I would film it anyway, just in case you're ever in this situation where you need to put a little bit of food on the table and you just want to use what is in the cupboard. So I've got some puff pastry that was in the freezer. So I'm going to show you a couple of puff pastry um, things. I might try, I went on Google and there was this really cute like um, apple one which is quite cool that I might try. And then I've got bananas that need using, so I'm making banana bread. So I'll show you how I do those. I'm just getting right into it because I'm in a bit of a rush. So I've just like kind of put my hair back a little bit. Um, so the first one is pesto and cheese pinwheels. So get some pesto. And I've got this left over in the fridge because um, I made Devon some pasta pesto the other night or the other yeah the other night and um, I put it on my Instagram story like kind of sort of how I do it and um, a girl called Izzy who I used to go to school with hi Izzy if you're watching this I don't even know if you watch my videos but if you do hello um, she messaged saying oh <laughs> pasta pesto always reminds me of you because apparently I always used to have it at school I was like I do not remember having this at school but apparently I did so this is apparently my thing so you just spread pesto all over the puff pastry okay and once you've spreaded the pesto on just put cheese <laughs> <laughs> like a koala, <laughs> like a sloth. <clears throat> okay, and once the cheese is spreaded on, I don't put too much, yeah, you can see there. I don't put too much cheese, um, but yeah, once that is evenly spread out, you want to roll the pastry up. So, start from one end. And this pastry has like a backing on it. Peel that away. You can also do this with like um, pizza sauce or cheese, and you can do it with um, you could do it with cheese and Vegemite. That's popular in Australia. You can also do sweet ones. Um, so I've left a little space at the end where I didn't put pesto and cheese. I don't think you have to do that, but I do. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, butter or something just so that it can stick. And just spread that on the, um, on the bit of pastry that doesn't have any cheese or pesto. And then that should be able to just kind of stick down. And then what you want to do, I'm gonna keep this backing and just get a plate and you want to put it on a plate and put it in the fridge to um, like kind of set because you want to be cutting this up soon and it's a bit soft at the moment so you just want to put it in the fridge so it hardens up one handed oh gosh okay I'm just going to leave it like that because I'm one handed but if you have two hands free feel free to put it in the centre of the plate okay so that is the first one. So this is how it looks so far. It's just a rolled up cheesy pesto thing. Um, and I'm gonna put this in the fridge to set. Okay, I've just put my little helper to sleep and rewashed my hands. And now this next one is a apple and custard puff pastry thing. Um, I've never tried this before. I just Googled it and it looked really nice. So hopefully it turns out nice, but if it doesn't, I might not post this, but maybe I will. Um, so the first thing you want to do is cut up your apples. So I'm just going to do them like this. Just cut off the two ends. 
and cut them into thin, thin slices. Okay, I did cut my finger. I think every single cooking video I've ever done, I've cut myself, um, but I've covered it with this. So now we're going to get a, a microwave safe bag and put all of your apple slices, and this is how they look. Um, you want to put them into a bowl and you want to add half a cup of water and half of a lemon juice. I don't have a lemon, but I've got lemon juice, so I'm just going to add lemon juice. So I'm going to add what would be half of a lemon. I reckon that would probably be half a lemon. <laughs> um, and half a cup of water. And then you want to put that in the microwave for, you want to microwave the apples on high for three minutes. While my apples are in the microwave, you want to get the puff pastry and cut it into long strips. It says four long strips, um, but that would only make four. So I feel like trying to make six, because <laughs> there's going to be six of us, three um, mummies and three babies. So I'm going to cut it into six. Okay, so I thought I had muffin cases, but they must have got lost in the move. So I'm just going to put a bit of oil in my muffin tin. But yeah, normally you would use a muffin case. Then what you want to do is get some custard. And just put a spoon of custard along your puff pastry. I've been loving custard lately, so we had this in the fridge. I've been eating apple crumble over night time. Mm, my favorite. Anything apple-y and custardy sounds so good to me. Okay, so you put your custard and then you get your apples. And I just drained these when they came out of the um, microwave. And you just wanna lay your apples in a line along the puff pastry. Okay, so I'm gonna put that many. And then you wanna get the pastry and fold it in half lengthways. Gosh. That's probably why they say to only do it into four. Okay, and then you wanna roll it up the other way, like this. Oh my. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think it's supposed to look a lot more attractive than that, but oh well, let's place that in there. Um, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for all of these. And then you want to put these in the oven at 190 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. So I'm going to do that now. And now my cheese and pesto scroll has set. I'm going to cut this into six. So then they look like that and you want to place them up this way onto a baking dish. Okay, and that is what they look like. And then you want to cook these at 190 for around 20 minutes. And then last up is the banana bread. So for this, you're going to need one mixing bowl and your dry ingredients, which is a half a cup of self-raising flour, a cup of plain flour, a cup of brown sugar, and about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then you're going to need another mixing bowl with your wet ingredients, which is three very ripe bananas, two eggs, um, you can put vanilla if you want to, um, but you don't have to. This, you'd probably put about a teaspoon of this or a tablespoon, um, up to you. And then you want to put half a cup of melted butter that has cooled. So I melted this in the microwave, but I need to wait for it to cool, otherwise it will cook the eggs. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is mash my bananas. your two eggs
Then you want to add your vanilla and I just eyeball it. Uh, I've not got much left so I'm just going to use the rest. It's not much. And then you want to add your half a cup of butter. So I'm just going to measure. Then you want to mix that really well and that is your wet ingredients all done. Okay, now we're moving on to the dry ingredients and for this you'll need half a cup of self-raisin flour. This has got butter on it but that's just to measure. Half a cup of self-raisin. One cup of plain flour. One cup of brown sugar. And again, I eyeball the cinnamon, but about a teaspoon of cinnamon. You then want to mix this up really well. Just incorporate it all together. And then once you've mixed it all around, you want to add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients. And then you just want to mix that up really well. And that is what it should look like. And then you want to get a loaf tin and line it with baking paper. This part is really tricky, so just try and hold that in place because you want to pour your mixture into the loaf tin just, a bit just to weigh it down. And all this extra will cut off. this is what your banana bread looks like and then this goes in the oven at 180 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes um, my new oven at this house is a bit stronger so I'll probably only put this in for like I'll, I'll check it at 40 minutes um, but yeah 40 to 45 definitely not 50 I did 50 the other day and it came out a little bit too overdone so yes that is the banana bread and I'll show you when everything is finished The apple pieces that were sticking out burned to an absolute crisp. So I'm just gonna wait for them to cool down and then I'll probably just <laughs> snap off the burnt bits and hopefully like, you know, it just leaves the inside. For mine and Tyler's breakfast, I am doing <laughs> an advert came up on my Facebook for um, the coffee club. And at the coffee club, they do these things called flat grill and oh, they're just so good. It's like a, kind of like a tortilla wrap um, and they put like filling in it and um, like whatever filling but this one was a scrambled egg and bacon and cheese one and I saw that advert and I was like okay let's have it for breakfast so I've done the scrambled egg and I just cooked up some bacon and cut it really small and now I'll show you what I'm going to do get a wrap and heat up your pan and just put the wrap and then some egg and bacon. Just to half. And then some cheese. Okay, now I'm going to keep it. <laughs> 
and this is how it looks. I'm not going to attempt to cut it because I think that the filling is just going to go everywhere so I'm just going to give Tyler a knife and fork and he can just eat it that way. Yum. I managed to cut mine with the scissors. Okay, so I'm actually going to taste one of these just because if they're that bad I'm obviously not going to serve them. I just broke off the burnt bits of one of them. It's very plain and flavorless. They're not nice. I can't serve those. So yes, I do not recommend that apple and custard one. You can't even taste the custard. I feel like it would be better if it was like, like sugar and apple in a pastry and then you dipped it in custard. But I don't know what happened, but when it was cooked or something, maybe the custard, I don't know. But you can't taste it at all. But that flat grill, mm, you have to try it, so good. And the banana bread is now done. Once I cut it up, it won't look so brown, but yes it's all done and ready for when my friends come over okay i've now gotten dressed and devon is now dressed he has learned how to open up this cupboard and every single day he comes and takes our toothbrushes out <sighs> also devon has refused his nap today he didn't have his morning nap he probably slept on his hair it's like proper curtains um he Oh my gosh, what is going on with your hair, Bubby? <laughs> um, yeah, he always has a morning nap at around 10ish, and today he probably slept for like five minutes and then he woke up and now he won't go back to sleep. <laughs> so that's typical when we've got a little play date planned. But hey ho, oh, he's yawning. Great start. So our friends are due to arrive in about 15 minutes. So hopefully he lasts the duration of the play date. I don't know how long they're here for, but yes, hopefully he doesn't get all cranky. Also, Devon met Father Christmas yesterday at playgroup and he gave him this book. It's called The Very Cranky Bear. It was so funny because um, when Father Christmas walked in, loads of the kids were really scared of him. It was just like an old man. Um, yeah, loads of the kids were scared of him and crying, but Devon was pretty brave. As he walked in, Devon was like kind of stood in between my knees. I was sitting on the floor and he was stood like between my legs with his hands like resting on my knees. And when Father Christmas walked in, he like really squeezed onto my knees, like grabbed hold of them and was like watching. And then it was his turn to get a photo with Father Christmas and he was brave, he was fine, he didn't cry. But it was so funny. I like him. Oh dear. <laughs> I didn't even finish vlogging yesterday but my friends ended up coming over and it was a really good time. Hi guys, so it's the next day. I forgot to pick up the camera yesterday afternoon, but we ended up going to the shops and we got a few more Christmas presents. And now we're on our way to the shop again. And this will be the last time because we're going camping soon. So this will be our last shop to completely get everything that we need. Um, so yeah, we're on our way there now. Devon's got his little ball, which he absolutely loves. Yesterday was really, really sad um, when our family doggy got put down but he's in a better place now and I saw a cloud yesterday that was in the shape of a doggy so I said there's he he's up in the clouds now in a better place bless him so yeah that was really really sad so we have officially finished our Christmas shopping which I'm so so happy about so we're gonna we're just gonna visit Tyler's mum and dad now and then we're gonna go home I'm gonna finish wrapping all of the presents yeah, that is Christmas presents sorted for 2020. I'm so, so happy. 
So it's now the evening already. Devon is asleep. So my plan was to wrap presents when he had his second nap, but then we had some friends come over. So I wasn't able to do it. But these are some of the ones I did the other day, and this is what I'm going to be doing tonight. So he's asleep now. I'll just do them on the bed. Um, but this is my wrapping theme of the year. So it looks better as a square, but yeah, I've just got uh, brown packing paper and then I got a stamp with all letters so I could put people's names and then just red ribbon and um, so there's Tyler and Mace and we got Carter so yes that is my theme so yeah I'm going to go and wrap some more I've got like a whole um, three bags full of presents to wrap so I actually really enjoy wrapping it just takes a very long time um, and the stamping is really fun but as you can see it's like really hard to stamp on these like squishy kinds of presents um, the hard ones it comes out okay but yeah these ones you really get the um, edges of the stamp but I don't know I don't think it looks too bad there's a few more under the tree and luckily I put the presents under the tree expecting Devon to want to touch them and then I was like oh, I'm probably just gonna to have to move them into the spare room and he hasn't touched them he touched one and I said to him no you mustn't touch the presents and that was it I think he knew I was being serious so yeah he has not even touched them since so yeah oh and we got a little present from England this is from my auntie Donna for Devon and it came oh it came wrapped and everything so that's also under the tree that arrived yesterday morning so that's sweet and she also got us a little um, card let me show you obviously from London so it's a Buckingham Palace with a little London red bus so cute hi Donna if you're watching this thank you so much I love you um, but yeah I spoke to Donna today so now I'm just kind of working my way around the house getting it somewhat tidy before I start to wrap presents and then after that I'm probably gonna go to sleep we've got a um, a little event that we're going to tomorrow so I need a fake tan tonight so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just going to wrap presents fake tan and then have a nice sleep Devon was up for like two hours last night it was not an easy night but he's getting his um, bottom molars so I'm going to wrap up the vlog now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so that you can see all my new videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What's up? How you doing love? How you doing?